All right, welcome back to the PHP 101 series. Uh, in this video, what I want to talk to you about is probably one of the most important things in programming, and it is the function. A function uh, allows us to do very uh, important things. In programming, you want to repeat your code. Um, n you don't want to repeat your code at all if you can help it, but functions allow us to um, much like in math when you have a formula you could just pass it some parameters and the the function will return or uh, give you the answer you're looking for so we can build functions <clears throat> in PHP that if we pass in parameters to it it can return or do something for us uh, and it it allows us to not repeat code over and over and over again so let's go ahead in the scripts uh, directory here we're going to create a new file and just call it functions.php and we'll open some PHP tags and we'll go down a few lines and we'll close them alright so you know earlier how we would do stuff like um, we kept echoing something to the screen and then we would concatenate on so we'd say something and then we would concatenate on a break tag and we would repeat this over and over and over um, and you know that's not really we could and also the other thing we did was we would var dump stuff and we would put a uh, break tag or something and we would do that over and over again so first let me show you how to write a, f a function and then we're gonna take those two examples that we've used a lot in the code and create a function to, to use those alright so to write a function, um, you just type the word function, and then you put an open and some parentheses, open and close in parentheses, and then open and close curly braces. And then um, you need to give the function a name. So you say function, and let's just do something really simple. Let's do function add. Now this would be a really dumb uh, function, but what I want to do is uh, we're going to have this print to the screen. So what we would do is we would say we could pass parameters into this. So we could pass a number one and a number two into this function. And what, what we want to do is we will say something like answer is equal to number one plus number two. Now this is kind of a dumb function but I just wanted to show you a real simple thing the next thing the last thing that this function needs to do is return the answer so you type return answer and this will return this so to use this function then it has to be declared before you use it so it's up at the top or on another file that's included but we'll get to that later but we'll do it above here and then when we want to use it we can simply say echo and then we can say add and let's add 1467 for the first parameter and for the second one let's just put a bunch of long numbers here okay and then uh, we'll just do that real quick so let's go back to the to our site now and let's navigate to scripts and then let's go to functions.php and you see that it returned 9,000 are uh, 99,929 so that is the answer so we know that our function worked correctly but this echo is what actually did that so the the components of a function is you just type the word function and then you give it a name and then you you uh, open and close some parentheses and inside the parentheses you use a comma separated list of parameters that you're going to use inside the function inside the function you do any sort of manipulation you want with those parameters and then you return something at the end you don't have to return something uh, it's just most functions will return something but you remember how in earlier videos we would echo and then we would add a break tag so let me show you uh, another function that we could write here so let's say function uh, and let's just call this function. We can't do echo, so let's just call this punk this function. Um, 
print to screen and we're just going to call a function value and then uh, what I want to do is just echo value and then we'll concatenate on our break tag. So earlier we were having to do this all the time and now um, what I could do is instead of uh, running this ad here like this we could set this uh, we could say a number and we're going to have that equal to add and let's just put some random numbers here um, like that and then what I want to do is I want to run print to screen and we're going to print the screen number now what's going to happen is uh, it will print the it'll run this add function and it's going to print to the screen which will echo that value and do a break tag. So let's go back now, refresh, and now you see that we have that number. And if we look at the page source by right clicking, and I can't have that copy there, we'll view page source, we can see that there's a break tag right there. So that's exactly what we expected to happen. So that's what print to screen can do. Um, also, you can pass a function uh, directly in as a parameter. So we could say uh, print to screen and then inside of here we could just say add uh, 67 and 92 and this will also work. Say 159. Now the add function really isn't all that uh, useful because PHP can just add numbers. Um, but I just wanted to show you a very basic and simple function. The other thing we were doing a lot earlier is we, we were var dumping and I told you that if you add pre-tags um, then the pre-tags could, could make your variables really uh, nice to look at. So we can create a function to do that and I'm just going to call, uh, call it pretty print or pretty dump. Let's do pretty dump. That sounds funny. And we're going to pass an array here into this. And what it want to do is, uh, first thing we'll do is we'll echo our pre-tag. All right. And then um, we're going to concatenate on a var dump. And we're going to var dump array as passed in. And then we'll concatenate on our closing pre-tag. So now, if we go down here and we create an array, so let's create a multi-dimensional array. And we'll make that, um, let's see, um, let's just call this uh, color colors. And we're going to make that equal to an array. We're just going to say red, green, blue, and then I'm going to add another element to this array. I'm going to call this um, places, and we'll say United States, Canada, Mexico, and we can keep building this list as much as we want. Um, how about this one? We'll do numbers. And we'll say 145, 34, 86, 87. Okay, I just built this array out just for demonstration purposes. But now let's run our pretty dump function. So if I just say pretty dump multi array. and I go back and refresh now we have those pre-tags and we get that nice looking uh, that nice looking var dump because of our pre-tags so th what the function allows us to do is reuse code over and over and over again so if I had other arrays um, I could do something like pretty dump and just put an array directly in here and we'll just say first name 
Curtis, and then we'll say uh, last name Parham, and let's take a look at that. And then we have that printed out right here. So we would we didn't have to uh, repeat this code because it's all wrapped up in this pretty dump. So um, functions allow us to do um, many things, but one of the most important things functions allow us to do is to have our code, and we try not to repeat code. So if I ever had an error or a bug in my program that had to do with this pretty dump, I could just update it here, fix the code, and it would fix it everywhere that I use it. Whereas if I were using uh, big pieces of code in many places, then I would have to find all those places in my code and update them. So that's, that's why you would use functions. Um, also, it just cleans everything up and makes the code look a lot nicer. Um, the other thing is they're, they're incredibly powerful. So that is a, the most basic of functions inside of PHP, and um, you will find yourself using these all of the time, and you will see them in other people's code if you read code. But um, the other thing is, is this, is, this is how we define our own functions, but PHP itself has some functions built in. So if you look at var dump, var dump is actually just a function that PHP uh, generates for us. And they told us to pass in this parameter of an array, and they actually uh, do the work of printing that out for us. And, so, and the same thing with echo. Echo is actually a function. Uh, so you can actually call it the same way. You could say echo, and then you could put parentheses on here and say, uh, I am a function too, bro. And then we can go back and refresh, and we can see that that works just fine. Um, this is just shorthand without the parentheses. But uh, echo is a function that's built into PHP, so is var dump. And you'll see lots and lots of built-in functions with PHP. But we can, we can build our own functions if they don't already exist in PHP. So we created one called pretty dump, and, and one called print to screen, and one called add. Um, none of these are all that uh, useful. Um, probably pretty dump is the most useful one I would actually use in my own stuff for debugging purposes. Um, but anyways, I hope that helps, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right, so I said that we were going to end the video, but I forgot we didn't add it to our menu uh, inside, of our, uh, inside of our little website we're building out here. So we just need to do that really quickly. So inside of Pages, go to the template and duplicate that. And we'll just call that functions.php. And we'll replace the header here with functions um, functions allow us to package up chunks of code to reuse later something like that um, and then we'll go to php.net and we'll look up functions How about create function? No, not create function. Where's just the function? Let's see, where's the actual user defined functions all right so you know how I told you they had you could create your own functions and then they had built-in functions so there's user defined functions so we'll go ahead and put that here in our URL for href and um, then we just replace this with functions highlight file functions that. Go ahead and give yourself quite a few notes and put the, this video's embed code right here. Uh, save that and then we just need to add it to the menu. So go ahead and copy the last list item in the menu, paste it, and then replace where it says loops with functions. Uh, 
All right, let's take a look at that. All right, so here's our functions. Here's our results of that. Um, and then this video will be here, and your your notes that you took will be here. All right, so we're starting to build out a pretty nice little uh, library of uh, things to keep so that we can remind ourselves about all these different things and how they work. Um, so anyways, now this is for real the end of the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.